not magic, but it actually works based on how ants' biologies function. This isn't gonna get super complicated, trust me. When you dust a baking soda around ant trails or their homes, cracks, or garden edges, it creates a physical barrier they don't like to cross. It's like salt and witches and stuff. But there's more. If you mix 50-50 with powdered sugar, it becomes bait. The sugar attracts the ants and the baking soda does the damage. Here's how. Ants have highly acidic digestive systems. Baking soda is very basic, it's alkaline. When they ingest it, the baking soda reacts with their, the acid in their stomach, producing carbon dioxide gas. And unlike humans and dogs, ants cannot burp or release internal gas, so that buildup becomes a problem. God bless you, Charlie. That was my dog sneezing. He burps and sneezes. It isn't gonna wipe out an entire metropolis living deep underground. But for small infestations around raised beds, containers, patios, or kitchen counters, it's surprisingly effective.